Well, uh, there's uh, four different types of major heart disease. Um, one of the more common ones, of course, is coronary artery disease. It's caused by inflammation. I actually wrote a paper on that in 1971. Um, it was published in an international pathology journal, Act of Pathology, out of Denmark, translated into six languages based on 20,000 autopsies, 20 million chemistries, and 20 million slides with, with um, uh, oh, that many different stains and everything. And, of course, uh, all my buddies said, well, you've got to be a sniffing clue. Everybody knows it's cholesterol. Well, I said it was inflammation that uh, caused a, a swelling of the lining or intima of the arteries, which then caused scar tissue to come, and it's the basic cause of, of uh, plugging because it was the vegetarians who had the worst plugged arteries, not the meat eaters, just the opposite of what everybody was saying. Well, and then uh, there is, of course, blood clots, coronary thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, uh, stroke, thrombotic stroke, you get a blood clot in the brain. This is caused by a deficiency of omega-3s, um, of essential fatty acids are ratio problems between omega-3, 6s, and 9s. And of course, if you have plugged or partially plugged arteries in the brain or the heart or the lungs or the kidneys, and then you have a deficiency of omega-3 essential fatty acids, you have a really a high propensity for thrombotic stroke and thrombotic coronary artery disease, which is going to kill you, a serious heart attack or a stroke or a pulmonary embolism. And then uh, there is what we call a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease, which causes sudden death, particularly in athletes, Sudden infant death syndrome, uh, certainly not how the baby sleeps on his tummy or on his back. It's uh, only babies that are fed formula uh, get sudden infant death syndrome. It's not breastfed babies. And that's because they're missing this one mineral in it called selenium. You supplement babies with selenium, they don't get sudden infant death syndrome. You supplement athletes with all 90 essential nutrients, throw in extra selenium into the pile and give them the rebound sports drink, they don't get hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, heart attack, sudden death. And then most common cause of heart death in industrialized nations is congestive heart failure. It's a deficiency of a single vitamin. This was discovered in the 1700s by a Japanese naval surgeon. That's right. Congestive heart failure is something that can be reversed in anywhere from a week to two weeks, usually about seven to ten days. Uh, you don't have congestive heart failure anymore by getting rid of the offending problems, which include sugar in this case, because increased sugar actually um, causes the deficiency of this one vitamin to get worse. A deficiency of this one vitamin gets worse when you take in lots of sugar. And uh, so uh, what I like to do for people with um, heart disease or uh, risk for heart disease and give them all 90 essential nutrients, so something like the Healthy Start Pack appropriate for the body weight. Then I give them the ultimate daily tablets, which are designed to support and promote healthy blood flow through blocked arteries. I'll throw in the HGH, which has an uh, enormous amount of an amino acid in there, which uh, actually causes the arteries to produce a substance called nitrous oxide, which actually um, opens up the arteries, dilates the arteries, you get more blood flow through them. And this could be the, for the brain and the heart and the kidneys and so on. And uh, that's uh, per 100 pounds of body weight, three twice a day of those ultimate daily tablets. And then the ultimate selenium, three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. This is for the cardiomyopathy heart disease. And then three of the de-stress capsules twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight for the um, congestive heart failure. And this covers all ranges. And I've actually had people, pastors in Southside Chicago, who've been on the heart transplant list for three years, been treated for heart disease for 12 years, and in one week's time, their cardiologist, their transplant cardiologist, and their cardiologist actually took them off of 27 prescription drugs and declared them cured of their heart disease after 10, 12 years, whatever it was. Got them off a 27 prescription. I didn't do that. I just gave them the supplement program, and their doctors took them off the 27 prescription drugs and took them off the heart transplant list and declared them to be cured. And so what does this tell you? It tells you the first thing you need to do is make sure you don't get into trouble with your heart. You only have one of them, right? And, of course, you're going to get a lot of spinoff from that because all the other tissues in your body require all the same nutrients. And so I like people to get the 90 cents of nutrients, before they get sick, don't wait until you're sick. You terminally have three seconds to live and then ask me if vitamins and minerals can help. What you want to do is take the 90 essential nutrients, one healthy starch pack for 100 pounds of body weight per month, give your body what it needs, just sort of like putting oil in your car before the engine burns up. You don't put oil in your car after the engine burns up. You put oil in your car before the engine burns up. So when you die at 120, you should have two pieces of paper in your health chart. One is a birth certificate. The other was a death certificate. If you have a two-inch thick health uh, record, you're going to see three specialists 
you're on 18 to 20 different prescription drugs and you get a new disease every two or three years, somebody needs to go to jail. And it ain't you. It's not the patient. It's the doctors which are milking your insurance policy, whether it's government or private, like an ATM machine. They are plucking your strings. And so you need to get on the 90 cents of nutrients, get a hold of one of our books, and better yet, get the trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and Passport Aromatherapy, and learn how to reverse and, you know, actually reduce your risk of over 900 different diseases to just about zero. This includes birth defects. Every one of the birth defects you can name, and 10 times that many you can't. We're talking chronic degenerative diseases, heart disease, dementia, macular degeneration, lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, uh, osteoporosis, osteopenia, bone-to-bone arthritis. We're talking about kidney failure. We're talking about diabetes, obesity. All of these diseases, and many of them are physician-caused disease like Alzheimer's disease, erectile dysfunction, and sleep apnea. There's no such disease as sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a normal behavior. Here's a case where doctors turn a normal behavior with your sleeping partner complains about, and they turn it into a disease. The mafia would go to jail for such stuff. We'll be back with more truth, justice, and the longevity way. Now, Doc, do you, you write a lot of books. Now, do you ever use one of these pen names, uh, you know, to write a book under, you know, a different name? No. Okay, so you've not, you haven't done that. So then this no, it's guy, always under my own name. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I started wondering because I saw this Fox News story that was headlined, The Great Cholesterol Myth. And there's actually a Dr. Johnny Bowden who has a book out by that same title, and he was being interviewed by uh, Fox's uh, medical senior medical guy, uh, Manny Alvarez. And they say, heart disease is the number one killer in the U.S. Often makes What often makes a disease so deadly is high cholesterol. However, one doctor says that's all a myth. Uh, and uh, that's this Dr. Bowden. He says um, uh, that this uh, lowering your heart disease may not necessarily even prevent heart disease. Uh, as he says that uh, it, it's not even really a good predictor of heart disease, said half the people admitted to hospitals with cardiovascular disease have normal cholesterol rates, and uh, there's half the people that are with elevated cholesterol have normal hearts. And he goes on to say he doesn't necessarily think that cholesterol plays uh, no role whatsoever in the development of heart disease, but what is actually done has taken our attention away from other important factors in cardiovascular problems such as inflammation, uh, oxid- uh, oxidative damage, stress, and sugar in the diet. So I think that requires... Because you've been talking about this for, what, 40, 50 years or more, how cholesterol yeah, 44 you know, isn't years that now, big a deal. Yeah. And, and he goes on to say that uh, part of this problem is he says there's uh, cholesterol used to be just one number, the two main types, HDL and LDL. He says that there are actually five different kinds of each. He says they behave quite differently in the body. He says there's an LDL-A and an LDL-B. He said the A is like a big cotton ball, doesn't do any damage, doesn't get caught in your arteries. But the LDL-B is the bad guy. And he says, why so much focus on cholesterol? He said the statins have become a problem as well, something else you've been talking about. And he said medication is often overprescribed. And they go on to say that they really show no benefit. They say especially in women shouldn't take statins at all because there is no evidence that a woman has ever been saved from a heart attack by using statins. And even scarier is that now they're prescribing them to kids and goes into how, you know, they're Cholesterol is needed for brain development in all of kids, so this is really just a bad way to go. Yeah, you're exactly right. Of course, um, statin drugs have created Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease because 75% of a human's brain weight is the white matter, the myelin, which is the insulation material in the brain. When it goes away, the nerve fibers tangle up. Yet Alzheimer's disease, well, Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease. They put people on a cholesterol-restricted diet, egg beaters, chicken without skin, um, oils instead of butter and cream and lard. And uh, what do we got out of it? Alzheimer's disease. Didn't exist 42 years ago. Now it's the number four killer of adults or the age of uh, 64. Erectile dysfunction. You can't make testosterone. 95% of testosterone is cholesterol. You can't make testosterone. You're on a cholesterol-lowering drug and a cholesterol-restricted diet. And so low testosterone, erectile dysfunction is a physician-caused disease. And then, of course, another one that has to do with um, um, cholesterol is menopause. Uh, Ladies, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, depending on how old you are, uh, went through menopause at age 70 and three seconds. She was still cycling and having babies into her 60s. 
well, why now do women spend 30 years wallowing through menopause and prescription hormones and everything because estrogen and progesterone are 95% by weight cholesterol. You want a cholesterol-restricted diet? You're eating egg beaters instead of eggs. You're eating margarine instead of butter. You're using oils to cook instead of lard. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, tofu, and beans instead of meat. you got menopausal problems. You go through five husbands because nobody can get along here. Wow. Eat six eggs a day. Take the 90 essential nutrients and flush the doctor and the statin drugs down the toilet. Do not give them to kids. We'll be back after these messages. 